Good morning, good morning, students. It is time for Bible. The B I B L E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God. The B I B L E. Bible. Yay. This is my Bible. I open up wide to see what it is saying on the inside. Let's bow our heads and close our eyes for a word of prayer, dear Lord. Oh, Heavenly Gracious Father, we come before you another day, dear Lord. It's calling out your anointing name, dear Lord, saying thank you. You've always been there. You've been a shoulder in the crown. You've been a shoulder to lean on. You always had the opportunity to call on you, dear Lord. We can call you in the pub no matter where we are. For that, we say thank you. For in some places, some countries, they don't allow you to worship God. They don't allow you to read the Bible. don't allow you to go to church. So we don't have to do that in fear for that. We say thank you, Heavenly Father. We thank you for a place in Mount Zion, a great Christian school, because there aren't that many Christian schools out there, dear Lord. For that, we say thank you. We thank you for our families. We thank you for our students, the parents who are enrolled in Mount Zion. We say thank you for them who bring life to the school. And we know that it's your will we will teach to these students, for they are the future leaders in the light of this world, Heavenly Father. In your name we do pray. Amen. All right, students, for today's Bible lesson, we're basically wrapping up the story of Jericho. And as we all know, Jericho was a city that had big walls. But that city, that was promised to Joshua by God. However, Joshua was thinking, how could he come over to the city that had these big walls? So there was a slight fear in his mind, but he knew through God. He obeyed God. He knew to do God. All things are possible. So he listened to God, said, do. Okay, remember, they marched around the city for seven days. On the first day, he marched around one time. And notice, there was a different wave set up to march around the city. They didn't have any, they didn't do anything besides march. They were quiet that first day. Notice, the first row was the army, the soldiers. Then behind them was the priests with the trumpets, and behind the priests was behind the priests. There were more priests carrying a special box, and behind those priests there were armed men. And remember, they marched around the wall, not making the sound the first day. They did the second day. They did it again. Then let's get to the seventh day, that very last day. That very last day, they walked around seven times, and then they shouted. The Lord has given you this city. Just imagine how the people inside the walls felt noticing as people march around once a day, one time a day, and on the seventh day, they walk around seven times playing their trumpets, and then they shout, the Lord has given you the city. Just imagine how they felt. And next thing you know, the walls fall down. And that's when Joshua and the army and the priests, they all went in to basically get what was given to them from God. So no matter how hard, remember, no matter how hard, that may be a wall up, that may be a wall too big, you might not be able to face, God will tear down that wall. 